Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, to start off the so the Aerobatus is meant to be a a really slick, more realistic profile of a mayfly nymph, and so um, we do them weighted and unweighted. This one here is obviously weighted, so I've got my bead on there already. Uh, we tie this a little bit uh, backwards in the sense that we're going to tie in the uh, wing case first. And that's going to come over the top of the bead from the eye of the hook. So we just grab our nymph skin. And you'll want to taper that down to a point a little bit so it's easier to tie in. So something like that. And then you gauge the width a um, little bit larger than the bead. And the taper would be um, smaller. All right, so kind of a tricky part. You're going to have to do the... Uh, tie in there at the eye but it's backwards because we're going to pull it up over so what you want to do is take the skin and place it oh not quite on top more towards you on the, the, the hook and then with your left hand you'll want to bring that thread up over and as you swing that around it's going to want to take the um, nymph skin with it and that will help rotate it on top, like that. And then the other thing we want to make sure of is that the bead can slide up behind that. If it can't, you're going to need to chop down or uh, give it a few less wraps. And then I just want to make sure I've got a little bit of space in front because I like the uh, hot spot. So we'll just build up a little bit of a head. And then I'm going to whip finish that right there. Because we'll switch colors of thread as well. And then again, just to check, you want to bring that bead up. And you'll just want to make sure that we can get that to cover up the end, which we can, so we'll good. Let, just leave that there. Now we'll grab our olive thread and tie that right behind the eye or the bead to about halfway and then we'll tie in our tail. And our tail is going to consist of some Coque de Leon tailing fibers. These things are great for mayflies. And I grab, I mean if you want to be accurate, grab more like three or four, but I'll usually go with six or seven. And then we'll just measure those to be the body length. And that's how much we want uh, hanging off. And so our tie-in point will be a little bit different. So we want to just measure that off the end and then tie that in here. Now I'm going to go up because again with uh, mayflies, this, the profile here is important. It's going to taper, so we'll come back down to the tail. Just like that. Trim off the excess there. Okay, the body's going to kiss, consist of a couple things. Um, first thing is we'll tie in a little bit of our ribbing material, which is Flashaboo. You could use crystal flash as well, but I like the flashy boot because it's got translucency. And I want to <clears throat> tie that in so that it's all the way up the body length. I'm going to give that one wrap. And I'll tie in the body, which is some holographic tinsel in brown. And this is where you could vary it. If you're doing calibatus, you do a, a gray or a lighter brown. And uh, this same color scheme works well for PMDs as well. And then we don't want a huge chunk of material tie in there at the tail. So use as few wraps as you can, come up to the thorax area, and then we're going to come back down about halfway. And this just helps complete the taper. And then back up, back up to that thorax. And that's where we'll end that. And then we take our uh, hollow tinsel 
and then just using the rotary feature on our vise we can wind that up and then I usually like to come back over the top of it down to the thorax start point and then we'll just trim that off and then this flashaboo is just going to be ribbing so you barber pull that up and make a segmented body and now you'll notice that the flashaboo is thicker than say wire or crystal flash but uh, I like the segment the segmented look that it gives it yeah, a little bit more flash And at this point, we're going to finish it with some, or finish the body at least, with some fluorescing uh, UV. And I just put a little bit on, you don't need a ton, and then we'll spread it around. You can also grab a bodkin and that will help it even out a little better. And once that's to the point where it looks even, we zap it so it sets. Okay, and in just keeping with the simple theme, we're just going to take some hairy eye stub. I usually go with the olive brown for a betis. It all, the olive brown's a little bit lighter, and so it gives. I, I think it's important for beta snips to have some variation between dark and light between the thorax and the abdomen so we'll just grab a little bit of this and slowly create our thorax so we'll have our thorax created there and then as the final step what we want to do is pull that wing case over the bead in the top and we want that to be situated right in the middle of where our thorax is. So what I'll do is I'll just create a couple of extra thread wraps to, to create a spot for that. And then pull this over. And then I want to pull it relatively tight. And then just come over the top. And we snug down the wing case just like that. And... You don't want to give it too many wraps because we still want a little bit of that thorax to show through so you don't want a big build up of thread but we'll um, we'll finish this off with some more uh, resin on top anyway so once that's in there we grab our whip finisher and just finish that off and as you finish your whip finish finish it on top because that's where we will apply more of the resin and that will reinforce that and clip it right there. And what I'll do is cut this and we'll we'll actually trim it a little bit better, but I'm gonna just cut it to that point right now. That's uh, way too long, but that's just a rough cut. So with it that long, this also helps me cut it a little, uh, to shape a little better. So we're gonna go in and create a, create a V shape in the wing. So from one corner down to the very center, and then we'll do that on the other side. So like that. And then the wing buds, they need to be trimmed a little bit coming back the other way so it creates a taper in the opposite direction so that it'll look end up looking like that and that's about the right length we want it about just past the thorax area you could probably shorten these up but that's fine and then as the final step here I just make sure I'm clear of any extraneous dubbing fibers and then we'll just coat from the head where the thread is up the whole body making sure you get enough in that tie off point and then back across the rest of the wing case and we just zap that and 
And then one final step if you want to grab your little Stonfo combo Velcro comb and just lightly use the, the Velcro underneath. And that will just pick out some of those fibers. Give it some leg looking appendages and trim those. And that's our new and improved Aerobatus.